can Google really actually help you on your self-help journey? Welcome to Rosabeth Moon Motivation. I'm Rosabeth. I am a self-help expert with seven years in the industry. And today we're going to be doing a deep dive into self-help advice from Google. Welcome. If you're back, welcome back, Empowering Fam. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rosabeth. I am a self-help expert and I do a lot of information about self-help and practices and how you can implement it in yours. This is a self-help expert deep dives into self-help advice on Google. Okay, so here's how today's episode is going to work. On the screen, you will see Google and you will see the search bar and I should be in a little bitty corner and I'm going to be answering these questions as we go. So self-help advice. Let's see. Cool. I don't know how you spell anything. Okay. Showing results for self-help advice. So number one on Google is your life. Personal improvement is an ongoing process that can help you create more joy, happiness, and contentment in your life. Okay. It's not incorrect. Personal development is all about you and helping yourself so you can create more joy and feel better in your life. So I agree. Let's see. Okay. So time. Time is the continued sequence of existence and events that occur in an apparently irreversible succession from the past through the present and into the future. We're going to go physiological, physio that word. We're going to go into, <laughs> into time concepts today. This is so interesting. So, yes, time and self-help is super important to understand because all we know, right? All that we really genuinely know is that this is our physical body that we have to take care of. All that we can see and sense and be in this 3D reality, in this life that we have, is experience time. If you've ever heard the hero's journey, I was literally talking about this the other day. The whole idea is about if you didn't know that the end came, why would the before matter? Why would you ever do anything at all? If you knew that you would live forever, why would you try to get healthy? If you knew that time never stopped, why would you love to your fullest? Right? Time is. Right? This says time is our most valuable possession and most people waste lots of it. You and I are the ones that are in control of our life. And if we do not take control and just let our time waste, by the time that you and I are at our deathbeds, time will have wasted we would have wasted our life. Who wants to waste their life? What? What? Why would you go? Why would you choose to live this body? Because you're choosing to live your life, right? You're still here. You're watching this video. We're trying, right? Why would you continue watching this and being alive if you didn't want to be alive? Right? If you didn't know that time was at the end. So listen. It's a really hard one to get over, is that inevitably an end will happen. But once you surpass that hurdle, what's gonna happen is that you're going to feel so much love and so much joy and so much happiness and so much gratefulness for the fact that you get to be here. You get to be in this body. You get to voice, you get to be who you wanna be. And you got it. You get to live it. Live your life. Other self-help advice, okay. Instant judgment is bad. Okay. In my seven years of self-help and studying and learning and being around others and helping others help themselves feel better, I've learned that if you judge somebody right off the bat, literally like we were just talking about, you already have judged yourself. You're already judging the situation. And if you judge something and it's immediately bad, let's jump into science. Here's a self-help science tip. If you go into a situation and you judge somebody as bad or a threat, 
your fight or flight system in your body is going to kick in. And do you know what happens? You immediately, immediately start to feel anxiety. You start to either feel depression and fear, or you start to feel angry and let's fight, right? And so the science behind just instant judgment is bad. Bad is a loose term. We'll go into that in a second. We'll put that point here. Um, this is interesting. Instant judgment is just simply something that whenever it happens is not bad. Just It's just a habit that you have formed in your brain from learning from people over the years. You're not bad for instantly judging people. It's just human nature. We judge things as we grow, right? And as we learn, it's how we grow and adapt and form cognitive functions in our brain and how we cause dissonance and a whole bunch of great stuff. Just, you know, watch what you, watch who you're judging, you know, bad. Okay, <laughs> so many self-help lessons in this. This is so interesting. So this was one of the literal first lessons that I learned in my self-help journey. I am gonna age myself. I was 18 years old, just starting to get into self-help and I went and got pulled to this spiritual expo. I went and what I do is I take a look at the list of all the people and whoever didn't or has the least amount of people signed up, I'll sign up for them. And so I signed up for this one, this one amazing soul. She had nobody, she had nobody sign up for her all day and it was already towards the end of the day. So I signed up for her and we did a an oracle reading. And she's like, what do you want help with? And I'll be like, I'm honest. I literally just got into my body from acupuncture. I just realized that I had major depressive disorder and anxiety. Like I just became cognizant um, and self-aware, which shout out to my self-aware episode. I believe it's episode 14. It's in the playlist. I'll cl clip it in the um, end credits. So what I realized was I had no idea. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know I wanted to help myself. I knew that there was something else out there, but why me? Why would I be the one that is trying to help myself? This is so hard, right? She pulled one card. She said, I'm just gonna pull one card for you. And she pulled it and it was black and white. She looked at me and she said, you see everything is bad or good. And I looked at her and I was like, is there, is there any other way? Like it's not, you're telling me that it's not just good and evil? Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. You're telling me that there might be a gray? And then my favorite band is Bad Omen, so I was like, into the gray, right? I was like, hold on a second. Is this a, this is a stance? And she's like, kind of. Here's the deal. Bad and good are just perspectives. They're just perspectives, but guess what? We're both. We are both bad to somebody and good to somebody. It just matters what we are in ourselves. You, you can see on this website, this is um, WNYC.org. This is a chart that was shown to me to kind of replace good and bad, right? You can be anything you want, right? We've talked about this. You are in control of your life. You can be whatever you want in life. You can do it. I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. Little pep talk. Woo! So... In this chart, it talks about lawful good, neutral good, chaotic good. Chaotic neutral, true, neutral, and lawful, or yeah, lawful neutral. Lawful evil, neutral evil, and chaotic evil. And you can kind of place yourself within this category because you can be both, you can be all. Me, I am very, very, very much a good neutral. I'm very much a good neutral. What that means, simply put, is that I will always do what's good and what's meant for the best. I will always help somebody, but it's neutral. If it goes against something that is the standard in society, lawful, I'll, I'll go against it. Like, you know, people, here's my example. Here's my example, okay? I chose to bully the bully in high school. We talked about this in the last episode. I chose to bully the bully in high school, even though it was against the popular and I was against the populars to help those who were getting bullied. Because in my being and in my soul, helping somebody, helping them stop being bullied was better than being lawful and sticking with the norm of <laughs> let them bully you. I will fight you. I'm getting heated. I'll fight you. Don't bully people. 
Oh, here's a new one. Self-help advice. Here are some self-help practices which have been shown in scientific studies to have some valid validity. Meditation or mindfulness, keeping a journal, stating what you're grateful for each day, being charitable, and giving to others. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we come to the conclusion. Yeah, Google has some pretty sound self-help advice, but the problem is, is that if you don't find the perspective of what you actually believe in, seeing all of these at once is just going to cause you to spiral. How are you supposed to do all this at once? My best advice that helped me and has helped so many others that I've helped feel better is to just focus on one thing at a time. Some people, I'm an example, are designed to handle multiple things at once. But to find out if you're one of those people that can handle multiple things at once, you got to start at one thing. Because then once you start getting better at this one thing, you can be like, oh, I'm smart. I can do multiple things. Okay, let me just add one more thing. Do you got it? Remember, you're the one in control of your life. And if you want more self-help advice and more videos like this, let me know in the comment below. Please subscribe and hit that bell hit that notification bell and I have affirmations every Saturdays if you like just hearing my voice which I get it I also like hearing my voice and that's fine <laughs> please I'll see you I'll see you then on Saturday if you're not that's fine I'll have more videos check out the playlist I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later